about choices that can be absolutely yeah. and this very pokey works for each first time I started filming was when we presented the designs to the church. The old church was still here, the old church hall, we presented with the architects uh, what we were going to do. At that stage, I didn't know what the artworks were going to be. Very unique, but very long lasting. And that's why this one carries some of those, uh, some of those answers. The, um, give the roof plane more texture and different and enhancement. All over the world, there's nowhere in the world that a cathedral is being built today. In Africa, where we are poor, at least we need them because our numbers are growing. But unfortunately, we don't have the money to build. So we are very happy, lucky that we have someone who can assist, uh, assist us. So why did that someone is willing to assist us? We had to cut down a tree, it was in the footprint of the new building, we had to cut this tree down. And we had to get permission to cut the tree down. But I decided we should make a ceremony of that. And so we cut this tree down and, and the elders and the bishop and the priest, Father Samuel, were all there. And we cut down the tree and then we planked it on that day. But the wood from that tree was going to be the wood used to create the full-size crucifix within the cathedral. It's like reddish, I think it's like, yeah, I think it's blue. 
third archer. It's a slightly bigger pew on the second row of the, the curve. It doesn't actually mean you can sit in next to a person necessarily.
there's a lot of innovation. I look at the form one alone, even before the structure goes up. Yeah, and it yeah. looks fantastic. I'd seen drawings of Florence's at an exhibition and uh, I found out who this was and, and did a, I had a chat with her and said would you like to be involved and she said oh yeah 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 I said well which, which part would you like to do? she said I'll do ev everything I'll do anything and so it turned out that she was the only one really who was prepared to learn and study and do something new and go down this figurative road she used to draw chickens, amazing, beautiful, full of life drawings. But she then turned and applied herself to both the doors and the Stations of the Cross. So they're the two very powerful sets of work within the building. And so we worked very closely together uh, to try and create the design. Design is not really a function here in, in the, the same way as, as I would expect. Um, people just kind of start working full scale. So the idea of creating something on a small scale, almost like an architect, it was kind of unknown. And so but Florence was very prepared to do that and we go through the stages of the making of like a station of the cross or like making um, the, door, the door panels, the bronzes and, and what we had to do to create that. So without Florence, it would have been an entirely different project. So I like the idea of that being a, a complete image. You know, the hidden somewhere in the background. Much and then the figure grows much, much bigger. Yeah, he can be smaller and the figures can be much bigger. Yeah. So for now I just work with Just work with the figures. Wow. Yeah, so we start to think how does this work mm -hmm. as a uh, sculpture. On the surface it's going to be flat and all the relief sculptures in the back. But, but within the background, the figures will be mostly paler, so they'll be coming to the front. Yeah. Um, but but I, I would like you to think about colour. Just just have, a, have us an idea of what you think is important. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and where do we use an area of red, like just come in there? Because the colour doesn't have to be all the way, it can fade. So we can work with the white and the tails. In this drawing, the nearest thing is of the two figures. So they're going to be the highest relief, and probably will be in one. So I was working uh, with a certain scale, so the depth of the clay will have to be 
a certain uh, depth, not too high and not too low, it's because it was like drawing on clay, and I liked, I, I loved working with my hands. I love working so many things with my hands. So it was such a, a wonderful challenge for me. I think my the last supper was and the and the nativity scene. Yeah, the nativity scene and the last supper were I, I really liked them. Just made with. Um... I, I love every detail. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know what you're trying to do, don't you? But you know what you're trying to get. So you really see how it works. So no, no, no. Or even mix the two together. And that's what's making these lovely darknesses, and that's what we've got in Kericho. If we can mix through a red into something like this and blend it through like that, then we can have a lovely soft, magic tone. Yeah. You see something happening, right? Yeah. It changes the thing. So whenever there's something outside a panel like this, uh -huh. it changes. We start the first one very pure. Very pure. So how, let's say we're one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. We've got nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we can basically end on that. Okay, you're going to use, you, because there's going to be an, an amber bronze tone, background tone. And okay. use amber for the, from seven onwards.
Sprung on us a while ago, he wanted it to be in metal. The cross, the figure had to be in metal. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Yeah. I think metal sure. it is, but I mean, there's so many wooden. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a bit of a yeah. yeah. pressure creature. Yeah. Yeah. I know what it is, but it This is interesting. See, this, this to me, what is this one? This is a lead casting. Uh, you know what, the face can't just be out. No, no, it's got to have the, it's got to be the nips and everything else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crown of thorns, you know, uh, I get all that. I kind of, so, so this was layered, this is cast layered. Yeah, you could do that in, in drums or anything else. And then you, you take the sections and you, 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 you actually work the thing in the form, front and back, and then build it together again. In, in the same method as the other one with a plaster, and then you just dribble brass into it. Right. Right. But that, that's, it's a lot more. You need a hell of a lot more heat. Right. That the body of Christ should be. The brass is pure. You can you can you can, you can translate I mean, it into brass or copper. Or we're, we're, we're kind of making some gold. No, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I was in that case. Yeah. I would go for probably brass. Yeah. Yeah. It's also yes, a lot stronger. Yeah. All together. Yeah. You wouldn't need to make a starting figure of Christ. You know, so you could actually start to think. You could even cast it from something. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that's what I would do. I would take a body mold of somebody. Myself, well, you're not, you're actually not bad for Christ. <laughs> I think we get something. Okay. I think we get something. I think we get something. Do a hand. You'll actually get something that's going to answer Steve's question. Especially if we're going for a body cast. My goodness. So I, I, I really like what's happening with this. These gaps and stuff. For me, they're part of the, yeah, the, the charm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can get rid of them, of course. Right. But I, don't know. I also like the fact that I mean, it's got the fingerprints and stuff on it, but it also has all these different yeah. textures, which I really like. Yeah, me too. Okay, I mean, no, it's going to be a heavy thing, so it needs some yeah. internal. Support. Well, we're going to have holes anyway. It's going to be nails. I was going to put a huge nail through there for you. But yeah, all right. But, but that's what we can do. We can do that. You suggested a particular artist to I was suggesting Ross because I've just made it. He's so wonderful, he's so environmental. Mm -hmm. That's what he does. He has a mosaic uh, group of mosaicists. Okay. Well, I mean, and he's a really nice guy. So I was highly discouraged, you know, from yes, wasting yeah. my time on artwork. Therefore, I, had to, I went through formal education all the way to college where I studied social, cultural, and development studies. Oh. You're, you're seeking within yourself to find your true purpose in life, you know? 
and you know that should you miss that window then you just go back to the you know to the to the grid and you're you know and you're lost within <laughs> yeah but it was during that time that I came across a book on mosaics I may have come across mosaic art somewhere but it never I had not noted it at all but when this particular time I came across this book something clicked within me you know and I knew oh hold on a minute this is it you know yeah. I don't know how to do this but this looks like it okay Peter to Peter to to Kikaribia let me just uh, okay see what's going on here. Demonstrating against <laughs> okay we'll let's just pass through protesting against some I think some taxes some consumer taxes or something this is the place is right here just revert now this is our neighbor's place but it's a good place to park the vehicle and just Indigenous maize, yeah. you will you will hardly ever find this sort of maize is you know anywhere else. So having not been genetically you know engineered and interfered with, it's much more uh, you know it's much more comfortable with the climate. Yeah. You know, yeah. it doesn't need a lot of it's, interventions. It's hardier. Yes, yeah. it's hardier. That's the. We want to achieve mm -hmm. a mosaic mm -hmm. uh, might fit in with the, the whole oh, culture of your 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 initiative. Between, between, between. Um, between. And, uh, roof, a team roof structure. Mm -hmm. uh, the volunteers that we have right here. Apparently, we, we live here. Yes, we live in this. In in this. In, in so, so where do the people live here? Right here. All of them live in there. <laughs> yeah. You all live in there. Yes. Okay. Okay. How many? Oh, it can be up to ten. It can be. Okay. Yeah. So, so you live yeah. here and you cook here. Yes. This right. is part of our brief is mm -hmm. to encourage. Yes. And and mm -hmm. generate. Yes. But we're also mm -hmm. very very pleased to have found Kenyans yes. with the skills that yes. we need. Thank you. Yeah. 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 You saw what the piece of glass was like in the meetings. That was completely as drawn. So, so something's happening in the process. Celebrants. Celebrants, yeah, the priest. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. 
zeigen zu können.
the moment with these guys. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. that's very nice. Mm -hmm. You have to start thinking of smaller pieces. There's not all the size. You cut them down. You cut them into half. Yeah. I'm not sure about the drawing of the, that finger. The finger oh. of God. I think you better have another look at that. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm, it's, a bit, it's a bit like a sausage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it has like something really nice happening. Yeah. Yeah. These guys working with you. The top is top is still in the world is green, man. Yeah. It's more interesting. So the water is probably green, this pale, pale colour here, and possibly some black. So just to give you the drawing. Look at the drawing. These drawings before you put the mesh on, on the polythene so you can actually see what's happening. Okay. 16 meters to go, you know, so it's better to get it right at this stage. Right. The beginning of the design is all kind of black and white, and, and you can maybe start to bring color in here. And at the end of the design, when we get thrown out of the garden, we go back to black and white. Okay, so, so we don't have very much color to play with, mm -hmm. but what we've got, we're going to use within the garden scene, mm -hmm. and then at the end, it's going to go back to black and white. Mm -hmm. These ones uh, in the in the mouth is good. So these stones are up there. Mm. I'll get through. So these are the blocks. Just slide it. Just slide it. On average, through that face, you've got 48. <laughs> mix every colour together, mm -hmm. then you don't have any definition. Yeah. Uh, the bishop uh, of the dog with me the other day. Oh yes, yes, right, right. <laughs> you take instructions from me, and yes. not from the bishop. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's clear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the bishop will have us yes. running around in circles. <laughs> yeah. that, uh, people are not naked like friends. They have to be naked. They have to be naked. It. They have to be naked <laughs> until until we get to the point where they realise they're naked. Until then, they're naked. <laughs> you should read the Bible. What you did on the sample, you know. Okay, yes, yes. But I just want the drawing to be better. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to get this contrast to work. So it means that the figure has got to stand out. Yes. yes. Lay it in so, so that I see where we're going. Okay. Because right. I, I don't want you to have to keep pulling it off. Yeah. I mean, I could I could spend hours doing this. <laughs> I wish I. I wish you could. Highlight colors and low light colors. Mm -hmm. 
pillars for the figures. Mm -hmm. And so you've got to stick to those rules. Yes. If you stick to those rules, the whole thing will make sense. It will read. It's not that it's going to be wrong, it's just going to be less good than it should be. If we don't, if we don't really work. There's what we can call the Rastafari philosophy. It really, it's nothing new. There's nothing new about it. You know, it's just ancient philosophy. Like, for instance, you're looking at the Himalayas, but you could be looking at it from Tibet, yeah. the other one from India, okay. the other one from, you know, yeah. any other direction, but you're all looking at the Himalayas. You know? okay. the, the truth is universal, okay? Because even for us, we are open and, you know, and, and we want to be out there with everybody, okay? Can you put your gun in here, okay. okay. So you, you, you pull in the vapor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when you're taking the chalice, it's a bit more ritualistic. Okay. Okay. But otherwise, uh, otherwise you just, um, otherwise you just light up when you feel. Thanks for the Thanks for the knowledge. Just say, grass is for the cattle and hub for the services for the river. At least I saw this project on paper there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm continuing with it here. Yeah, it's, it's a great pleasure. Very it's much challenging. Small just, hands, uh, tough yeah. stones. I'm doing the first part like three times. You know, like uh, Rasta, I think from here, you we'll just handle it and we're just going to go to the next part because you have undone. Mosaic is something that yeah, you, know, you just don't get pushed into. It's an art, it's an art field just like any other, but you really have to see it and feel it inside yourself. You touch the stones after you've done them with your fingers. Oh man. Second. Judge, show them the
crown of thorns. Sure. It's uh, a phenomenal quality, isn't it? The idea of having it pale is really exciting. Yeah, let's you know, so like that. Just take a little bit of, of that. Four meters long, yeah. It's slightly shorter, but it's, it's and th these pass through the cross, through everything, and yeah. then they will be bolted Bolt on, on the back of the cross. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Now put it back on the top. You weld steel onto steel. Okay. Then we're avoiding the sweeping. All right. And then for the okay. wall. We need the reverse. The so can you get that? Yeah, I know where you get it. Th th this would just be used to hook the cross onto. The construction we've already talked about, the, the L section here, yeah. is just so that we've got a steel and steel inside. So we have a steel fixing to the wall.
this is the glass size for each of these panels. These tracings will be used to transfer the drawing onto the fiber board. I'm now going to transfer them through by pricking with a pin through these trace lines and start to cut out and start to begin modeling. Some of this glass I made, which would become basically what is called flashed glass, it's a layer of frit that I fired on a sheet of 3mm glass, and that's what we saw in the kiln. Um, I've now cut it directly on the mould. What I'm going to do now is just completely finish the mould, make sure everything is nice and clean and tidy, take all the pieces of glass off and keep them separate, and I'm going to rework the mould just to make sure it's finished clean up the, the lines and the edges, uh, ready for putting in the black pigment tomorrow. Or once I've fired the... I've, I've smoked the, the matting out. And then I'll replace this glass onto the mold, but on top of coloured fruit as well. But it's quite nice to see that colour all cut and pieces ready um, for the next phase.
those pieces fit together. Okay. Small details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, that's that's what that's exactly. What it's really nice. This one is heavy. Yeah, yeah. You want Florence to try and do that, okay? You know, the making of the roof was one of the, the best examples of, of what we were trying to achieve. Um, the builders, the, the company uh, Steel, gave me some, some, some workers, just some general guys who, who did all sorts of projects on, the, on, on, the, pro, on the, the cathedral here. They laid cobbles, they cut wood, they put up scaffolding, they did everything. And I got a group of these guys and I explained with my, my large-scale drawings and demonstrated um, how we could do this. And it was quite amazing because within a few hours we had clarified, understood how it works, how you transfer from the drawing onto the tiles. And we, 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 what we did was actually the whole roof was already clad, it was already covered, and then tiles were replaced. And all we did was we marked them from the drawing, we marked them with a piece of chalk. So just the long end, and they were to be replaced. And so this actually was done by this group of guys who very quickly understood the concept and were able to make this like 60 meter long roof. <laughs> and both sides, both sides, they managed to do this without any supervision. And actually I designed something for the small chapel where I took both the the wheat and grapes as the symbol for the for the chapel and they did that even I wasn't even I wasn't even involved in that at all. So these tiles we found we tried originally to cut them with a with you know while the, the tiles were wet before they got fired and that just wasn't possible. And so we ended up getting about twenty thousand of these tiles cut, maybe ten thousand each with each different angle on them and uh, they were just done here on site. It, it was and, and it has been so successful, you know, we're not... Take a strip out. The strip was about 600. It's a little too wide, right?
Ay teşekkür ederim. That's very nice. <gülüyor> <gülüyor> very subtle. Alex, good, good, it's been a whole year on this. Yeah. Uh, but we, we're just looking forward to seeing it on the wall now. Okay. That's the main thing. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, on the back, on the coffee table, so the thing has to be yeah. turned completely over. Mm -hmm. Also a layer of cement. So that pushes it into all the little gaps. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that's what we want. We want to get it pushed into all the gaps. So mm -hmm. everything here has got some cement inside it. Mm -hmm. So it's holding everything. Mm -hmm. And so when that's covered, then it gets put up onto the wall mm -hmm. and it gets nailed in. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. It's nailed onto the wall and that holds it temporarily. Because there's always spaces. You can, yes. you can always yes. come through or yes. take one stone out. Nail it up mm -hmm. into the wall and then within within about an hour, mm -hmm. there's a lot of stuff coming through. Uh -huh. Okay. And that starts to get brushed off and washed. Yeah. So you've been marking with that. That's really good. That's really good. So you need to have this.
I couldn't fit through there. Don't bloody slice. Shame. Sure.
the idea for the Stations of the Cross was it should, each of them, instead of trying to show a complete scene, should just take a slice, a slice of that scene. So there was always, if the cross is involved, there's always an area of the cross, Jesus and whatever is happening within that setting. You don't really know what they're made of, you know. I mean, this is sandblasted, like 20 millimeter float glass. You know, some of them have a different green tinge, some have a different feel about them. Um, depending on the base glass that we use. I never realized that at the time, that each float glass has its own quality. dedicate this church by offering within it the sacrifice of Christ. In the name of Sacred Heart of Jesus.
water, sanctify it. As it is sprinkled upon us throughout this church, make it a sign of the saving water of baptism, by which we become one in Christ, the temple of your spirit.
from the beginning 2006. I can say that, 2006. Okay. And uh, we were trying to find out where. I went to the U.S. and we are looking for the donors. Myself, I went to the three years, uh, 2006, 2007, 2008. Okay. Uh, and this was always, we want to find out whether people can be able to fund us. Uh, the process was, we needed the compound, we needed the space, and we had to do away with the old church. Then we still need a space to people to worship. So we came about. We came up with uh, putting on a temporary church, which was a tent. It was very accommodative, very very warm inside, until we finished the new cathedral, which we have now. And uh, it was amazing how the cathedral came, started small, and then all of a sudden we can see the magnificent cathedral here. Yeah, you know, uh, when you, you are having a small space, even your volume is small, <laughs> and even your ideas is still small. But uh, if you increase the volume of the church, you increase your own volume and even your way of thinking. The seed which you planted is small, it has grown big, yeah, like a mustard seed. Like the mustard seed. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the parable of the mustard seed. Yes. <laughs> I know. Start it. small and go to the big tree. Yeah. Yes. And you have a lot of ideas, and you know the way you motivate people. You want people to fear the church because uh, it is big and it is there for the people. And when people come here, they feel very comfortable. I mean, they want to come and do their wedding here, the funerals here, everything here. So it's marvelous. People come from. <laughs> As far as Nairobi to come, just come and stay in this compound, yes. Yeah. And they want to spend the, the, the day here, they go around, they want to see the church, they want to see outside, they come and want to touch the glasses, you know. It's amazing. And even to, to come out with uh, such a figure in, in a glass, it's not a one day's job, it's not one month, it's not a, years. It is marvelous and people, they are very attractive and people appreciate it. I would say, so what you read and then you draw, uh, everybody from the children, from the, uh, up to the old people, they get it very, very clearly. So it just uh, displays itself and you get the concept very fast. You get the message very fast. Now that tree was later used to be uh, for the cross, both in the church, main church and even the, the, the chapel here. You can imagine now from that old to the new. So we have been able to incorporate the old and the new to be one. That was very good. Whoever thought of that, it was very wise. That was very wise of you. <laughs> <laughs> that was wisdom. <laughs> Thank you. So on this rainy day in Kiricho, I think after, <laughs> after about 11 years, this project has finally, for me, come to an end.